How do you manage transactions in a microservices environment? As a microservices developer, you got to know this pattern called Saga Design Pattern. Imagine an e-commerce application which is designed on a monolith architecture and it got various modules like order module, inventory module, and payment module. This application now connected to one single database where you got different table for all these modules. When somebody creates a new order, you check in the data to the order table, inventory table, and the payment table and mark it as a single transaction. If any of these steps goes wrong, you undo the transaction and cancel the order. But things are completely different in a microservices environment. As each of these modules right now become one one services, and to follow the microservices best practice, each service will have their own databases. This allows us to assign separate team to different services for faster development. Now each team can choose right type of database according to their service need. They can now change a table name or a schema name and this should not bother the other teams working on other services. This 1db per service sounds great in theory, but how do we manage transaction across multiple services? Now this gives us a real-time challenge to manage the transaction, as we cannot have one global transaction manager to manage the transaction in each of the databases. And there comes the Saga design pattern. Imagine a new request comes to create an order, then we first create a new order and save it to the order database. And this successful transaction create a new operation in the inventory service, where we're gonna reserve the stock and save it to the database. After the local transaction success, the next operation triggers that is making a payment. And once everything is done, that's a successful transaction. But imagine if there is something goes wrong in the payment service and we are unable to make the payment. Then we're gonna create a compensate transaction and gonna undo the changes in the inventory service and release the stock. And once that is done, a follow-up compensating transaction will be triggered by Saga to undo the changes in the order service and to cancel the order. And the Saga makes sure there is no messy data left behind. The Saga pattern keeps your microservices consistent without needing a global transaction manager. To implement this pattern in real time, we got two options. The first one is choreography pattern. What's the other one? Let me know in the comments.